All right, we talked about the adult. Now we're gonna talk about an infant. Um, we're gonna go over an infant choking. So this infant's choking. Um, if they are making noise, we'll roll them to their side. Continue to encourage them to make noise. Uh, when they, they stop making noise, they go unconscious, we have to take into other effects. So we're gonna start this baby, head down, holding our arm, and we're gonna do five back thrust. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna roll the baby over, keeping the head below the legs, and we're gonna do five chest thrusts. One, two, three, four, five. Roll the baby back over, five back thrusts. Okay, when we handle an infant, one of the things we always wanna do is always support the infant's head. So we can do that with just the hand, right? So I always do this, I do this. So the infant's down, infant seems to be choking. Brian's gonna come in and show us how to relieve that obstruction. Yeah, if it's making noise, we're gonna roll it up on its side and continue to, to let it make noise. If it's making noise, it's getting air in and out. Nope. Stop making noise. Stop making noise. Even though it's an infant, we have to hit it hard enough to do some good, okay? <laughs> Now our baby's not breathing, not responding. We're gonna check for response. We're gonna uh, call 911, okay? With an infant, though we don't call, if we're by ourselves, we perform CPR for two minutes before call 911. And the reason that is, is most infants' hearts are considered to be good. And 90% of the time, it's because of choking, drowning, or poisoning that they're in a cardiac arrest. Okay, so typically with a baby, hopefully in two minutes, we can get them back to life and call 911. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick that I've learned to where I can call 911 while actually performing CPR on an infant. So I entered the room, I found my infant unconscious, I tapped the bottom of the feet, no response. Because I'm with somebody, Ginger, will you call 911? And see if you can find an AED with infant pads. And come back, please. Okay, we see the infant's not breathing, we're gonna perform CPR. We're gonna use two fingers, again, between the nipples, and we're gonna do 30 compressions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. All right, thank you. Again, just enough breath to see the chest rise. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Good. With any infant. In any emergency, we need to make sure that we call 911 and get EMS rolling immediately, okay? When you have somebody call 911, have them come back and let you know that they've, call, they've called 911 so that you know that help is on the way. Relieves your stress, all right? If we have choking, we, if the baby's making noise, we uh, roll the baby on his side, encourage them to make noise. As long as they're making noise, air's coming in and out, they're breathing. When they stop making noise, means they're not breathing, we need to go immediately into five back thrusts, Five chest thrusts, five back thrusts, five chest thrusts. Continue that until the blockage is cleared. If we come in and our baby is unconscious, not breathing, not choking, we need to start CPR. 30 chest compressions, two fingers, an inch and a half deep, and two breaths. 30 compressions, two breaths. And continue that until EMS shows up or the baby comes back to life. So very important that safety here at Drill Tech remains number one. We train our employees how to be safe, not only work safe, but also how to react in case there is an incident. That's the number one priority here at Drill Tech. We learned how to uh, relieve an obstruction in the choking infant, and we've learned how to do CPR on in an infant.